Hello, everybody, and welcome to part seven of the Roaring Heights Let's Play. I'm so excited to be doing another video of my Roaring Heights Let's Play with you guys today. I am loving these guys, and you guys are really loving them too, so really excited to be doing this with y'all. And somehow we got the stupid doll, even though I didn't ask for the gutting doll. Oh, I hate the freaking doll. Okay, so where we left off our little family was going to bed but of course they got woken up by baby nelly and uh and therefore you know we had to take care of business because babies screaming in this game is like a constant thing but so for now um miss rose is eating a little bit her energy is pretty high. She was almost going to wake up anyways when baby Nellie woke them up. However, Mr. Jimmy over here, not quite so much. So, he is currently working on the car a little bit. But um, as soon as he's done over there, we're going to get him to eat really super duper fast. And then probably go straight back to sleep while Miss, uh, Miss Rose over here practices her painting. She wants to improve her painting skill, right? I could have sworn we had already improved her painting skill. Like, she's level freaking five at this point. She also wants to complete a renovation and get a promotion, which she just freaking did to get a promotion. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> so, I did get my uh, Nross or Nross or Nras, um mods back installed. So, we will get to play around with those a little bit. And I also figured out what was going on with Marilyn Downs. And it was that she was one of the food merchants at the um, uh, the festival lot, which, if you guys are familiar with it, if one of the Sims is a freaking food merchant at the festival lot, they pretty much are never going to leave that place. Like, it's a full-time, horrible job, if, if you were to compare it into real-life terms, because, I mean... You work all freaking day and you never get to leave is pretty much what's going on. Uh-oh. Baby's starting to scream. Which means Jimmy's going to wake up. Which means he's not going to be too terribly happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Well, since you're awake, why don't you go eat some leftovers really fast? She's so cute, but so needy. Such a needy little baby. So we'll play with her a little bit. Get her needs up. And then we'll put little baby girl back to her crib. And uh, Rose is still pretty awake, but I think we will go ahead and send her to sleep really quickly. Although, who's calling him? <gasps> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. She's inviting her. He's She's inviting him over in the wee hours of the night. What do you think Rose is thinking? He's probably just telling her, hey, something came up at work. You know, um, I gotta go check on something. And she's just like, oh yeah, honey, no biggie. Oh my gosh. And of course, he couldn't, he's just too much of a dog to pass up an invite to a beautiful woman's house. Watch her now be upset that he came over. Gosh, I love this house, you guys. <gasps> this house is gorgeous. This house is freaking gorgeous. Hey, girl. Oh my god. This is a nice house, you guys. Nice freaking house. Whoo, Lord Almighty. That is one nice house. Oh my gosh. Yeah, um, she lives with her best friend, so that's why there's two full size bedrooms up there. Okay, so you invited me over at midnight. Of course, we're gonna do some flirting. Oh my goodness, can I stay over? <gasps> She's letting him stay the night. Oh my gosh. What in the heck is his wife going to think? And of course we're going to risky woohoo. I mean, because he's just that kind of a dog. He wouldn't, you know. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, and she's a snob, so she likes being complimented. So that's a really easy way to get her super happy. Oh my freaking gosh, you guys. <gasps> We're gonna have him do risky woohoo. 
Oh no, oh no. This is so bad. So freaking bad. Oh my God. Look at this. We are not even freaking, we're barely over five minutes into this video and he's already getting hot and bothered with Miss Lady here. <gasps> he is really gonna woohoo with this girl. Oh my gosh, you are so bad. You just had a baby, Jimmy. <sighs> what a dog. What a freaking dog. That's like all I can even say about it. <laughs> what a dog. Love this house though. Oh my gosh, I love the styling of this house. Like, that's just too freaking nice. Too freaking nice. Oh my gosh, and now they're sleeping together. Poor Rose, look at her, she's at home all alone with their newborn baby. Oh my God, she is so, he is a terrible, terrible freaking husband. <laughs> but I mean, it is kind of like I said, you know, he's just, he doesn't consider himself a bad guy for this. He, he considers it just like a way of life, just like a way of being, not really him being a douche or anything like that. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness freaking gracious. That, ah! Oh, I knew it was gonna happen, you guys. Like, he was into her the moment he saw her. The moment he laid eyes on Miss Marilyn Downs, he was into it. Oh my gosh. I wonder if Rose is gonna find out. And if she does, what exactly is she gonna do about it? Like, hmm. But, um, um, oh, by the way, if my voice sounds kind of weird and shaky, it's probably because I haven't talked since I got out of bed, even though I got out of bed like an hour and a half ago, but I haven't talked, so my, my voice is a little underused at the moment, <laughs> but, um, we're, we'll go ahead and speed, well, no, no, she's about to wake up anyways, so we're not gonna bother to speed past this. Um, let's just get you to get full on your sleepy, sleepy times. Man, Miss Marilyn is pretty ballsy herself, like, inviting him over in the middle of the night. Like, that wasn't suggestive at all, right? No, not at freaking all. And she's just like, where's my husband? Oh, that is so bad. What is he doing? Are they still sleeping together? Because now it's morning time, so they should be getting up pretty soon. Um, yeah, what I had her do is actually join the criminal career too, because um, when I when I went to change her career, since I didn't want, you know, I want her to be accessible, um, she wanted to be in the criminal career anyway, so she's a part of the criminal career now as well. That's very cool. Uh, designer Booknook. Oh, she's back to work now. Um, what are you doing? What you doing, girl? Did you take care of the baby? She did take care of the baby. Okay, so we'll go perform this job. Um, they want a stereo, bookshelves, TV, living chairs. Living chairs and an end table. It's a very hard finding a place to sit and read for Gabe Ruth. Okay. Um, I guess, does he have work today? He does. So I guess we're just gonna have to call a babysitter. Yeah, that's what we'll just have to do. Call a babysitter. There we go. Okay, so we are going to go renovate a house, you guys. Oh, this is a cute little house. I like this house. It's very nice. Okay, so they want bookshelves. What if I just turned this little room right there, which is like basically the living room, into their little sitting room and all that good stuff. Okay, so I'll just delete this. Go away. And um, bookshelves. Okay, so they need four bookshelves. So we will do... These cool bookshelves, or wait, should we do the sectional bookshelves? I guess we should do the sectional bookshelves too. Oops, sorry guys. That's my clock. Why doesn't this work? Like, aren't they supposed to go together? I don't understand. Huh. 
I'm confused. Like, I thought these were supposed to go... Maybe I'm just dumb and I don't get it. <laughs> That's a possibility as well. Um, why don't we just put these guys... I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing, you guys. We'll just put one there. And we'll put another taller one right there. And then we'll put a long one. No, we don't need one that big. Like, do we need one that big? Not really. We'll put a long one right here. Yeah, that works. So that's three. And then we'll put another short one right there, I guess. Or a tall one. I don't know, guys. I'm so bad at decorating. I'm so bad. So bad. So freaking bad. Like, I don't know how those sectionals are supposed to work now, because... I don't get it, but whatever. Um, they need two living chairs. By living chairs, do you mean like, like that type of thing? No, that doesn't count as a living chair. Well, okay then. You don't count as a living chair, dude. Okay, so how about this one? We could do that one. That's one living chair. And we'll do um, a second one right here. They need an end table. We can do that. Hmm. Where are these little end tables? I guess there's not really one that goes with um, with Roaring Heights, huh? Um, I guess we could just use that one. No. I don't know, you guys. I'm so freaking bad at this. I hope y'all don't mind how bad I am. <laughs> so, and then they want a TV. So we'll put a small, a small little retro TV right there. And how much? Oh, we have plenty of budget remaining. And then they want a stereo. So we could just plop a jukebox. Um, a very nice jukebox right there. Bada bing, bada boom, homie. Renovation completa. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I love this house. I freaking love it. Uh oh. I hope the babysitter is taking care of my kid. I'm concerned because they never do. <laughs> um, what is he doing? He needs to wake up because I think Marilyn already freaking left. Yeah, because she had work. So she's gone, so we're just going to use her bathroom a little bit <laughs> to uh, to get ready. This is confusing as hell. Why is this bathroom separated? It makes no damn sense. But we're going to have him go potty and then take an eagle bath. Oh, yes. There we go. Sweet, she actually earns a lot more now that she's, um, that she is, um, you know what I'm trying to say? <clears throat> Promoted. She has a higher, uh, she has a higher fee now, I guess. Very cool. Do we have any other jobs to do? We do. Okay, so what is this? They want a new bedroom set. My parents gave me this bedroom set as a hand-me-down. I'd really like to get something that's more my style. Are you willing to take this job? Sure. A single bed. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Begin the reservation. Ren ren reservations? Yeah. Reservations. Of course. Jimmy is behaving inappropriately. What you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Love this house. Holy Lord. <gasps> oh, my freaking heavenly days. This is a gorgeous house. Holy crap. Holy crap. Guys, we have got to get that damn thing as soon as possible so we can move into some of these awesome ass houses. Pardon my French. I couldn't quite resist it. Um, so where's the younger girl's room? I guess it's going to be... I guess it's this one. I don't know how many kids they have, so I don't, I don't really know. But I'm going to renovate this one. And I guess I'll give them two beds just because there were already two beds there. But she wants a new dresser and a rug and a single bed and a stereo and a TV. Can do. Um, so dark in this room though. Like they need some lights for heaven's sakes. Um, 
Let us do, oh, I like this. Ooh, I like this. Let me put up the little um, thingamajigger. Dressers, let's see, we can do this dresser because this one's very girly and I think we're, I think we're doing for a girl, right? And we'll put this lamp right there. And then need a rug and a single bed. So we will put in a nice little single bed right here. The bed of innocence. It's like a freaking unicorn bed. Which makes complete sense, right? Totally. We'll put another one over here that's more gender neutral, just in case. I don't know. I don't freaking know you, you know who who we're catering to here. Um and then I'll put who that's a big old rug oh is that one of them that actually it is oh wow that's gorgeous it's freaking gorgeous hop skip jump rug sure because this is supposed to be a kid's room right sure let's go for it they want a stereo as well so we'll give them a um a kind of littler stereo what is this supposed to be Love it. I freaking love the teeny tiny little stereo. Oh my god. I love it. Okay. And then we'll put a small... How much money do we have left? We have plenty of money. We will put... Then we'll put a really nice TV. Oh, maybe not. Um, can, we, can it fit there? Okay, we'll put that TV right there. And we will turn in this renovation. Oh yeah. And then we'll go check on Jimmy really quick. What you doing, Jimmy? Like, seriously, honey. What are you doing? Janet Torrance? Oh, that's her roommate. Apparently they're friends. We will, uh, friendly, um, ask about career. Let's try to be friends with her because we actually kind of like Marilyn and, um, don't want her to be mad at us, so. Friendly, ask about skills. She's a mermaid? Oh, she is a mermaid. Holy crap. <gasps> Whoa. She's a mermaid, guys. <laughs> holy cow holy cowper's glad okay Remember discuss um help recipes Hello. get to know Hello. friendly um compliment home uh well let's see what i was gonna do gossip friendly chat we're just trying to chat this girl up okay so who's who is our little um Oh, okay. Well, he's kind of a cutie patootie. Kind of fits in with the crowd here. He looks so weird. Looks so freaking weird right now. He looks scary as hell. Um, so let's see. How is she doing? How is everything going? Yes, I'll take a photo. Uh, definitely want to take a photo. There we go. Overall, I think you did a good job. I love all of the art. Thanks, I guess. You did what I asked. Oh. Well, I saved you money, so don't be upset at me, okay? I saved you money. Boo. Okay, thanks. Um, does she have anything to eat? Because she's getting kind of hungry. I'm going to have her eat a tomato really quick. And then we'll go have her do this renovation. New child's room. Sure, that sounds good. Um, let's begin it. We don't want her to lose her job performance or anything like that hopefully you guys aren't totally bored by this like I feel like this whole architectural design thing is kind of cool myself um oops my paper's making all kinds of noises sorry if you heard that and um, let's see we'll go upstairs and she wants a new child's room so they need a toy chest a single bed okay so I guess her girls are getting older um okay so maybe we'll just Put a single bed in here since uh, this is where all the little ones are. So I'm going to delete these things um, just to get them out of the way. And I don't know what gender her kids are. <laughs> so I'm going to put another unicorn bed here. Put one unicorn bed there. And I don't think we need two dressers for any reason. So we will put the little toy chest right there and then we will put a xylophone right there and a teddy bear where should we put the teddy bear we should put the teddy bear right there and let me think where can we put the dresser 
Um, we could totally just copy this one since it goes with the room already. Uh, maybe we should just delete that because if it's a child, then it, it doesn't really need that anymore, does it? Okay, so we'll put that right there. Ta-da! My is a genius interior designer. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. So good at this, guys. So freaking good at it. So he's still... Ch oh, he's pillow fighting with her. Ay, yeah, yeah. If you try to get with the best friend too, girl, or boo, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I do not know what I'm going to do with you. You crazy goofball. Okay. I think you should go home now. Like, honest to gosh, I think you have pretty much taken care of business. You just just go home, okay? <laughs> just go home, get you a shower, and uh, make sure your kid's okay. Like, that's what's important right now. <laughs> Um, yes, take a photo. Hi. You got the job done. Thank you. I appreciate how much money you saved me. Thank you. Uh, because nobody appreciates that I saved them a ton of money on this crap. Like, seriously. So we're going to have Miss Thang go home now. Since she's pretty much done. And we'll have him clean out the bad food really fast. And then have a quick meal of some canned soup. I'm thoroughly enjoying this family, you guys. Like, I never want to stop playing them. I'm having so much fun with them. Um, baby screaming her head off. What's wrong with the baby? She's lonely. Okay, so we'll snuggle with her and play with her a wee little bit. And, um, oh, daddy's already got it. Well, hello. Somebody's harassing us still. I, yeah, freaking yay. Um, so he wants to work out. We're gonna have to send him to the gym, I guess. Because I don't really know what else to do for him as far as working out goes. But she's gonna go work on the car, because she wants to. Listen to discussion, what's he wanna, what, what are you doing? Oh, he's, he's discussing work, okay. Yeah, romantic. Let's kiss her. Oh, well, I guess he's going to work now, so we're not going to kiss her. Lamo. Okay, so she's cooking some dinner. Good for you. What are you cooking? I don't know. <laughs> so he's going to work, and we're going to have him um, conspire with his accomplices. And uh, it's interesting that he doesn't consider Marilyn an accomplice when um, she is definitely working in the business, so. Okay, we're gonna snuggle her and play with her because her social is like already down. It like takes no freaking time for these kids to get unhappy because they're not being properly socialized with. Oh, she made sushi. Go girl. Okay, so we're gonna have her clean up around the house a little bit. Clean up, clean up, clean up. And then we will send her to Betty Bye. <gasps> Oh my god. How is it that I've never had my Sims get arrested before, but now they're all getting arrested? What do you think Rose is going to think? <gasps> Holy cow! Oh no. Oh no. You can pick up your belongings. We don't want you trying to escape with your grapes. He'll be home soon though, right? We won't have another Seth issue where he disappears from the freaking family because he's in jail. Poor Rose, this is night number two that she's just sleeping by herself because her freaking husband is out doing God knows what and gets in trouble for it. Oh my gosh, my poor girl. Um, okay, well, I guess you should sleep, shouldn't you? Or, or work out, work out works too. He's completely missing work. His job performance has fallen like super freaking hard. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, I think I am going to go ahead and end this part here. Since we don't really have anything going on but waiting for Jimmy to get out of freaking jail. Because he's silly. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this part. The drama is heating up in this family pretty dang quickly, if I do say so myself. <laughs> 
So leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Comment with your ideas and suggestions and what you think about Jimmy's uh, playing around because he's being a bad mama jamma. Um, and he's getting arrested. <laughs> So definitely leave a like if you, if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next part. Bye-bye, y'all.